When we create the ideal sleep environment for our babies and children, we need their rooms to be dark because this means that they will naturally sleep for longer. But what happens when we want to go out and about with our children and let them nap on the go? How do we nap away from a dark room? That is the question I'm answering today. If the room is always blacked out, how do we nap away from the dark room? Hi, I'm Amanda, founder and co-creator of Little One Sleep Program. I'm a pediatric sleep specialist and mother to two beautiful little girls. And if you need any further help, we have our comprehensive online sleep program, which is in our custom built app with our fantastic support from our amazing sleep consultants, where they are there to answer questions that you might have during the day or night or any time. Make sure you visit us at www.littleones.co if you need any further help. Sleeping in the dark is beneficial because during the evening and night time, our bodies release a hormone called melatonin. Now this is only released in the dark. So you do need the uh, dusk nighttime period and like that sort of yellow lighting for your body to trigger the melatonin release. That then causes our bodies to feel sleepy and it makes our bodies go to sleep much easier. And that hormone is released throughout the night and keeps us asleep during the night. Now come the morning, melatonin is starting to wear off and that can cause a lighter phase in our baby's sleep. That is why it is super, super important to keep the room as dark as possible so that it doesn't trigger any of your sort of cues to wake up, whether it be five o'clock in the morning if it's light outside or seven o'clock in the morning and it's light outside. Our babies don't know the difference. So if you keep the room as dark as possible, then that will mean that you'll have a better chance of getting your babies to sleep longer, especially in the morning. Now, come your napping time throughout the day, the same thing occurs. So we want the rooms to be as dark as possible whilst your baby is napping. It will mean that your baby will sleep for longer and uh, in a much sort of more settled sleep. They'll rouse in between their lighter periods of sleep, but then as it's dark, go back to sleep and nap for longer. But how are we gonna do this if you want to be out and about and have naps on the go? So a couple of things that is super easy to do are do your shorter sleeps out and about and have your longer midday sleep at home. That's something I would do on a regular basis. I would have my children's first nap of the day whilst we were going out to an activity in the pram or in the car or in the front pack while we were walking and have that nap on the go. Now that first and last nap of the day doesn't need to be necessarily in the really dark uh, as it blacked out as a normal room as your bedroom would be because those naps are much shorter so you're not expecting your baby to sleep for you know a couple of hours at those times so if they do rouse in their lighter period of sleep and they wake up that's totally fine i would definitely do those two naps out and about while in the car or whatever picking up children from school or dropping off children from school that works really well you can definitely add in some um, you know, window shades to make your car a bit darker if that's possible, or put a, a shade cover over the pram whilst you're walking. That works really well as well. Now, if you wanted to do the lunchtime nap out and about and on the go, this will be a little bit trickier to keep your baby asleep for that full, longer, you know, couple of hours nap. So this is where it would be more important to make sure that they are in a darker environment if you are out and about. So it's totally fine to have them in a pram or a stroller 
where it is has a darker cover over the top and you may need to work a little bit harder to get them to resettle in those sleep cycles. So if they did rouse and wake, you may need to, you know, move the pram or stroller a little bit and try and actually resettle them so that they do get that longer stretch of sleep rather than just doing one sleep cycle. But certainly it is doable and the more you do it, the more your baby will get used to napping out and about and on the go. So in no way do you have to be stuck at home whilst following a routine and being out and about and having the room dark. It's easy to do those first and last naps out and about and on the go, absolutely. The middle lunchtime nap, myself I would usually come home but that's because I had a toddler and a baby so I would have both of them in bed sleeping at the same time and that was the time that I got things done. But if we were out and about and doing something where we did need to be out, uh, if it was just when I had one child, absolutely, I would have the pram blacked out and dark for my children to have a nap in the pram. But once I had two children, I definitely would try to be home for that lunchtime nap and do the other naps out and about and uh, around on the go so it was easier to have my time during lunchtime as well. So you certainly don't have to be stuck at home whilst following a routine or whilst making your room dark um, or in sleep environment dark. As I said, probably the most important times of having that room dark would be the night time right through into the morning because that sun will wake your babies up early in the morning and also during the lunchtime nap. I hope that answers your questions and please, if you have any comments or questions, pop them in the comments below. We also have another fantastic video that Nikki did and I'll link it up here and I'll pop it also in the comments about why we love to sleep our babies in the dark. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give us a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell so we can notify you of videos just like this one.